Combining science and society, nature and people, social and ecological, we counter existing definitions of how spatial territorial projects develop. Waterscapes, geologies, soilscapes, wastelands, residual spaces and communal projects, all systems of human and non-human coexistence offer new perspectives and new starting points. Three watersheds with distinct urban conditions in the territory of Lausanne have served as a testing ground for exploring diverse approaches in constructing positions for a counter project. The project in Venage watershed envisions the river as an active protagonist, countering its perception as a background. We reimagine the water as a dynamic catalyst for activating and reshaping common spaces, rethinking the interconnections between humans and non-humans, and reflecting on new life cycles. This project challenges existing socio-economical systems by envisioning a harmonious coexistence between ecological conservation, sustainable agriculture, and community well-being in the Venage watershed. It serves as a compelling counter-project proposing an integrated approach that prioritizes resilience, biodiversity, and a redefined relationship between human activities and nature. The territory of West Lausanne was once characterized by extractivist activities. Natural resources were extracted from the earth and later disposed of. This linear disposing system broke all nutrient and resource cycles. Through common waste management, this extractivist paradigm is challenged. Organic and earth waste flows are placed upon the landscape to reclaim these extractivist and wasted landscape. The counter project can be at times paralyzing. Being aware of the impact that we as designers have on the territory, you can no longer close your eyes from the consequences of your actions. A design always requires resources and generates waste, which impacts an elsewhere. The project on the Zadist path explores this paradox and designs with waste. We have to overcome this paradox and act. The historical exploitation of natural assets upstream of the Chambron watershed is the epitome of the fact that we have drained 90% of the country's wetlands for the past two centuries to claim spaces for population growth and urbanization. The project of rewetting counters the history of draining wetlands and the territory we built on top of this past. It presents the scenario of what would happen if we integrated our agricultural lands and settlements into restored wetlands and how this would change our lifestyle. The Flan watershed is characterized by canalized rivers, with water management predominantly taking place underground. The project focuses on the resurfacing of water in urban watersheds, the reconstruction of the watershed, and the challenges associated with bringing to the surface waters that have been canalized. Remaining critical of the way that water has been managed in urban areas, the project explores the potential of leveraging existing and ongoing infrastructure works and technologies in the city to make way for a new landscape of surface water and the socio-ecological threshold that it generates around it. Ultimately, it engages in a discussion on the compromises necessary to give agency to water and ameliorate the natural environment within urban watersheds. The three watersheds and their watercourses are disrupted by a highway, which is currently a subject of discussion between viewpoints advocating for reinforcing the highway and its connections, and associations that are advocating for the removal of the highway.